think they should, you think they should put pepper on chicken when they roast? But we won't discuss this. So let's go to the Wolf's Association, and we're going to discuss how you cook chickens. Now you don't want to be going. Bah, 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 bah. You just got your feathers done. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about. We're going to discuss how you not to cook chicken dinner. Oh, all right. Fair trial. <laughs> you don't want to go. They're going. Damn, baby, your nails. <laughs> You understand? Look yes. out, Robin Hood, because he ain't going to have no hoodie. Yes. Do you understand? So if you really kind of get what this is really at, yes. you know, what we have to do is get out of our naivety all together. Uh, even though the lemmings are in the audience with glassy eyes, who think they're free. Uh -huh. And who think these people are really government. They are, it's a feudal fascist order that took, the United States Republic has been overthrown from within. House Joint Resolution one night, go ahead, it's in your paper I gave you. That paper I gave you. Open yours, everybody open yours. The travel kind of speech. I got you. <laughs> a, a word for Where's your speech? Huh? You don't have your own? Yeah. Oh, All right, now. Yes. Oh, now we we, we read that, right? <laughs> now we're going to congressional records again. Okay. Now notice that this is an exercise. Remember when you go in there. Um. Yeah. All right. Now I want you to read these first three paragraphs, but okay. make sure you read everything. Don't just get in. Yes. Read everything. All right. Okay. Now, Chris, keep in mind that a lot of this uh, scenario we're going through is not a scenario. We're giving you real law documents in history, uh, distinguished from what you may have believed. So without being defensive, just understand this information that is readily available to anyone who reads. But they already know that most of the people are trained not to read. Do you understand? However, in law, you're held to it anyway. And ignorance of it does not excuse you. So when they treat you with contempt, treat your mother with contempt, that should give you more inspiration to defend her, knowing that she's right and being abused. So she shouldn't have to think on her own. You should be thinking with her. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? In the same way, when you have your children that they're not taken advantage of by going sitting on Santa Claus's lap every year and he's a pervert. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about, well, he comes around at Christmas time, he knows Christ, so he couldn't be a pervert. He's a pervert. <laughs> do, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Get real. <laughs> It's hard, but get over it. Right. And get real, because this, this is real life. Don't get bitter. Get wise. Don't get angry. Get educated. Don't get mad. Get even. <laughs> and use your energy to those ends. And that's not a joke. And our job is to give you some tools so that you stay right. Because your issue is to stay in honor and stay right in the face of the storm of evil and wrong. And that's like for real. Felicia, mm -hmm. will you share with the audience House Joint Resolution 192 Congressional Records for the United States of North America, please? Stay in the mic so it goes on record. United States Congressional Record, March 17, 1993, Volume 33, Page H-1303. 
So you can see we also have reference so that people can't say, oh, you made that up, Fifi. You know, all right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Speaker, Representative James Trofikent, Jr., Representative of Ohio, addressing the House. Mr. Speaker, we are here now in Chapter 11. Members of Congress are official trustees presiding over the greatest reorganization of any bankrupt entity in world history. The U.S. government, I'm sorry, the U.S. government, we are setting forth, hopefully, a blueprint for our future. There are some who say it is a coroner's report that would lead to our demise. It is an established fact that the United States federal government has been dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act, March 9th, 1933. Read that again. And look what's obvious. It is, a, it is an established fact that the United States federal government has been dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act, March 9th, 1933. 48 Stat, one public law, 89-719, declared by President Roosevelt being bankrupt and insolvent. House Joint Resolution 192, 73rd Congress in session, June 5th, 1933. Joint resolution is suspend to suspend the gold standard and abrogate the gold clause, dissolve the sovereign authority of the United States and the official capacity of all United States governmental offices, officers, and departments, and is further evidence that the United States federal government exists today in name, name only. only. Read that last part again. Departments is further evidence that the United States federal government exists today in, in name, name only. Continue. The receivers of the United States bankruptcy are the international bankers via the United Nations. Now you understand you're the bank when you go to those courts? Um, go ahead. The World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. All United States officers, offices, sorry, offices, officials, and departments are now operating within a de facto status. Now make sure you write that down, Chris, de facto, as distinguished from de jure. Read on. De facto status in name only under emergency war powers. Mm -hmm. So they're waging war on the people, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And they're not even government, are they? Nope. They've been dissolved, haven't they? Mm -hmm. They don't exist, do they? No. They're imposters, aren't they? Yes. Now you see why they don't want you to have their full name, why they don't give you the charter and the bond, because they ain't damn got none. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> Yes. With the Get constitutional the oh, You need to understand that in your head yes. when you're dealing with them or you will be talking to them wrongly and keep assigning them the office. And since you're an heir, you have a right to do that and they accept what you say. Mm -hmm. Therefore, demonstrate competence. Go ahead. With the constitutional Republican form of government now dissolved. Mm. What are they telling you? Read that again. With the constitutional Republican form of government now dissolved, the receivers of the bankruptcy have adopted a new form of government for the United States. This, now, this new form of government is known as a democracy. Mm. They just admitted to the coup, right in the record. Mm -hmm. That's why he did what year? 1933. 1933. So who do you think you've been paying taxes to? Do you see the whole point? Now, it's an international venue, Chris. Anyone who was under those black codes are simply stock. And anything you say is dead. And if you buy or sell with the mark or the number of their name, is state property under wardship tenders. And they don't have to account for the estate or the profits. And that magistrate, who you think is a judge, is a priest mm -hmm. for the popes of Rome. And you're being delivered. 
under the secret treaty of Verona. Now, the method of regaining a claim on your estate is a common message that most people need hear and but don't connect. And you know what it is? Honor thy mothers and thy fathers that thy days may be longer upon the earth land which the Lord thy God has given thee. There's a caveat. Honor not thy mother and thy father, and you lose all claim to your estate. For there is no inheritance for those who honor not their mothers and their fathers. For they come under a color of law. So look up colored people. Right, Global? I'm looking up. Now, you got to put these things in context because people don't know that the magistrates are priests. So our concepts are incorrect when we're thinking that we understand spirituality. We think this stuff is separate. And you're still talking to a priest. But he's not playing what you consider, naively, is the role that you assumed. Not that what you should know that you assumed he should play, only because you haven't been taught. But if you really knew history, you would understand that the organized government for the stolen estates was established amongst the priesthood. Why do you think they was upset with the Nazarene for schooling the common people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do you think he was disputing with them for doctoring up the law? Mm -hmm. And now they have deceived the whole world. So people think that the priest is only in the mosque, church, and the synagogue. Nope. And he's sitting there, right? In the east. And they lay those courts, tribunals, <clears throat> out just like the temples of Egypt that they took over. And then they create a triangle. Yeah, and the right. Magi is standing at the head of the triangle. Yep, sure enough. And then the prosecutor is over there, and you're the food over here. And they're all members of the barristers of England yes. under their Treaty of Rome. They just call it now the American Bar Association. No, it's the English barristers. They'll just cut the barristers off and say bar. Because <laughs> they know you can't read. And they're the barristers of England. Enforcing the Treaty of Roma for the Pope's of Rome and your food. Mm -hmm. Do you comprehend? Mm -hmm. Once you understand, really, you know, uh, yes, it's really, it's not nice. <laughs> Dang, I thought, no, that's Phoebe Herman, that's not your boy. You don't go to movies with him. <laughs> do, you, do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and get over it. <laughs> Do you understand? And get over yourself. Come down to earth. Humble yourself. And honor your mothers and fathers and understand why you lost your birthright. Get off your ego trip. And in law, not unlike in the book of Malachi, where it says, Turn your hearts back to your mothers and fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Same thing with Drew Ali said, but go back to the state of mind of your ancient mothers and fathers. Mm -hmm. When he said these lessons have been held back from you for generations, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now it's time to release the secrets. Mm -hmm. And now these lessons have been delivered back into the hands of the Muslims of North America. A restoration of your lost estate. You see. Book of um, Isaiah. Now 64 says, I hold my hand out all the day long mm -hmm. to a hard-hearted and rebellious people who are not called by my name. When they repent from their sinful ways, I will hear from heaven and heal their L-A-N-D as your estate. Do you understand? Yes. So when you walk before Rome, he's stealing your estate. That's what the ens latest is. That's what the man of straw is. That's what the 14th Amendment was constructed for. That's why they closed the Freedman's Bureau in 1868 and adopted the black codes in all of the states 
to bureaucratize forced servitude or connotative slavery. It's right there in the book. But they can't read because they can't see themselves. You see. Now, law, color. And read everything. And where it's, where it's quoted, make the quote. Color. Get in the mic, because this is you on the camera. Come on, just, I, you want just color? You, you, you want color? No, that, 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 color people, color, just read color, and then color people. I don't yeah. have to. Yeah, just go ahead, read color. And I want you to pay attention to the first entry. Color. No, uh, Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary oh, sorry. of Ancient and Modern Jurisprudence. So ancient and modern jurisprudence. Go ahead, read it. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> people have a tendency to say, oh, Fifi, you're making that up, this story. Okay. You know. All right, go ahead. Color. An appearance, semblance, or a simulacrum. 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 As distinguished from that which is real. Mm -hmm. Read it again. An appearance, simulance, or a simulacrum as distinguished from that which is real. And now you will see it's then they apply it to persons, to natural persons, and already, you already know that it is what? As soon as these people call themselves people of color and thinking they're being Afrocentric, it's fake. Mm -hmm. They're outside of the human family. As a matter of fact, it's a signal that they're distinguishing themselves from that which is real. But they think it's an identity because they were told so by their leader guy. Because they can't damn read. Uh -huh. Anyway, so now we call persons. Of course, for the sake of time, because of our time goes on. Now, call the people. But I want you to. What I want you to recognize, and then when you're going to go into status, after, uh, uh, then you're going to go back to appropriate persona, you're going to go into wardship, and then you're going to go into status. Okay. All right? So keep that in mind. Write that down, too, Chris, the different words that we're saying, because you're going to look them up in the law dictionary. Because it will educate you, and then ask, don't ask me, don't ask her, don't ask him, ask yourself, why do you nationalize? Dismiss everything we say. Look at the people, look at the different things they go to, and imagine that someone asks you that question after you read this information. Then you decide what the answer would be. Do nothing because someone says so. That's right. Do things based on what you know. Yes. Do not do anything on things that you assume to be a belief. Mm -hmm. Are we clear? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, have, I have colored, I have different types of colors. Of course, because it's a law book. It's going to give you all the designations. But I don't have color. I have a lot of, I have a lot of color here. <laughs> colored persons. Yeah. See, I have, uh, I have, it starts here. Mm -hmm. Down the bottom of color, it says mm -hmm. the, the, dark, the word also means dark yeah. okay. race, dark color. I have colored. By common usage in America, this term is such phrases as colored. Term, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Does it say identity? No. Oh, it's a legal term, isn't it? Yeah. This term. Go ahead. This term is such phrases as colored persons. The colored race. Quote, unquote. Use the quotes because they're, they're emphasizing their. Colored persons and the colored race, colored man. And the like is used to designate Negroes or persons of the African race, including all persons of mixed blood descended from Negro ancestry. And then you want me to read Did you, did you, did you read what's there? <laughs> <laughs> Collins versus... Uh, no, oh, okay. speak, speak okay, the law case. Go into the substance. Okay. But where a state constitution provided for separate schools for the white and colored races, the term white race, so the term. quote unquote, white race, was held to be limited to the Caucasian race, and the term colored, quote unquote, races, to embrace all other races. And this is a law case. 
It has also been held that there is no legal technical signification, signification to the phrase mm -hmm. colored person, mm -hmm. which the courts are bound judiciously to know. Now, you know what that's saying to you right there? Mm -hmm. Welcome there is called people that are not even bound to even recognize yeah. you. Yeah. So, do you understand people with brands have no standing in law? And there's really no scientific signification to it. It's a brand. At what point you ain't caught on? That's people in general. Look, pull a map down. Third grader. Pull a map down. Well, we're African. Oh, yeah. Pull a map down. And where is Africa? Right here. How many nations on it? Well, it's just Africa. How many <laughs> nations? are represented on that continent. 54. Oh, they're nations, huh? So Africa's a continent. It's not a nationality. You know. Oh, find Black Adonia. Find Negro Dina. Find Color Defia. And if you don't, Give me all the fiat you got in your pocket and bring in that watch. And watch them be there all day looking at small print trying to find it because they don't want to give up their goods. And don't hold your breath while doing it because we'll have to call the coroner. Do you understand? Yes. And guess how many of our people will insist on still defending we're people of color and not even knowing that they have given up their birthright. Do you get the point of what I'm saying, Fifi? Yes. <laughs> Cece, you get it. You, you've got to really understand that in law, where people think that civics has no spiritual, ethereal, religious connection, are absolutely wrong. It is a result of a lack of spiritual knowledge and spiritual destitution. Thus, they're in the brand system. And they think there's no connection. Well, guess what? If they only knew. This is why those who really know can take the Bible or Septuaginta into that tribunal and beat that priest up uh -huh. because yes, it's sir. a law book, yes, it's sir. an astrology book. Yes, sir. And their DARs, mm -hmm. Eastern Stars, Master Masons, got a fence in secret and playing high priest, impostering and working for the popes of Rome, stealing your birthright. Mm -hmm. And when they're talking to you, your language will tell them your degree. And if you have not ascended to a reasonable, competent degree, they're going to throw you in the crab basket. <laughs> Don't be upset. For you must prove yourself worthy. Now, I want you to look up color of law. But I want Chris pay attention to when she goes into the definition of color of law. And we're not going to go all the way in because of time period, but I'm giving you snippets. Uh, to give some comprehension. And so this would be used by yourself too. And this is how you will support her, you know, with, with what you already know. And then understanding, because what you can do, you can look at the actor and you know what the play is. See, when you're not aware of the play, oh, you get all frustrated. They know, oh, it's like moving chess. Oh, they're giving up that part. Oh, oh, I'm getting a knight. I'm getting a knight. I'm getting a bishop. You can't take my measure. Uh -huh. You see? That ain't fair. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yes. Because you're not supposed to be naive. Yes. You can play naive. Don't be naive. Mm. You get the point? All right. Now check this out. Go ahead. Color clock. Black's Law Dictionary. Henry Campbell, Black's Law Dictionary, Henry Ancient Campbell. and Modern Jurisprudence. You can open the cover and get used to saying that when you're working from that. There we go. There we go. Black's Law Dictionary. Uh, let me see. Hold on. I'm looking for 
Phrases of American, English, jurisprudence, ancient and modern. All right, there you go, we know. Yeah, Andrew Campbell Black. All right, I'm going to use it. Color law. The appearance. Or oh, the appearance. Now remember color, when you read color, right? All right, mm -hmm. continue, go ahead. Or a semblance without the substance. Oh, there you go, so it's like an empty balloon, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, it's like you, oh, you bought, hey, Jen, you bought that television from the guy in the corner with the, with the box, the brim, hurry up because the man's coming, this is a button, you take it home, it's got some works in it. <laughs> nice box. <laughs> Don't let that happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a VCR. <laughs> <laughs> it was years ago, but it didn't. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a semblance. <laughs> it's called, it looked like it's called in the Bible the illusions of the world. You see? Yes. Come on, come on, read. Go ahead. Uh, the appearance or semblance without the substance of legal right. So they don't even have legal right. You see what was happening to you? Yes. But you're supposed to know that, yes. which is why, what? You all come from the long distance to come here to what? We, where are you? Where are you? Get the mic. To learn. You're in, what is it? Where, what, what is this venue? Where, what's this place? What's the state? What's this, this, this place? In the mic. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> um, we're in Delaware territory. How's the free awakening, boys? We're in the House of Reawakening Minds. Ah. Oh, yes. Who maintains the house? Mama over there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might hear what killed you. <laughs> so you're here. To do what? Reawaken. To be a real. So yes. what are we supposed to do? You're not supposed to act like you're asleep. Mm -hmm. right. right. So let's start over again. That's okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's all right. Oh, start. We've got to leave that on. You got to stay on. <laughs> now, go ahead back there again, color law. Mm -hmm. Come on. Go back to color law. Wait a minute. Let me, let me just put you on another track. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the thing? Color 